tell you, we got a new experiment, and that is to, this is all green, I just cut it, see, water's coming out of it. What we're going to do is try to make some charcoal with green wood, I'm going to time it, because I, I put a jacket, this piece of metal right here is a jacket, I put on our retort, and this is supposed to be fire break foam insulation but I'm sure this is gonna to be too hot for it but anyway this this little piece of tin right here provides a little air gap for it and I'm hoping that keeps the temperature in the barrel so last time I tried to do green green timber it took two fires it took about eight hours four hours each one well I did four hours and then we went to bed come out the next morning and did it again and then it made the pyrolysis occurred and we made charcoal. So that's the plan and all I did was just sheet metal screw this together. If it works I'm going to put some screws and nuts in it. But we're about ready to make some charcoal. Celebrate our 33rd, 33 years right? Of being married. She's put up with me for 33 years. Is it still rolling? And one thing about pouring it in here is I can't strategically put it in here, you know, to get it, get as much as I can. But I'm sure this is going to be pretty heavy. Yep, I can get a little bit more in there now. Uh, this is elm so there's a little trail that I'm helping clear out by doing this and I'm gonna call it the charcoal trail Here's the hard part. I quit putting the band on here because it's not really needed. Oh yeah, you can show them this over here. Took this old barrel and a bunch of these are just regular signs, standard size signs. So I made this frame and it provides me some charcoal storage. This is from the last time, I believe. So the plan is to get this full. I got my trash can in there full. And then get the inner barrel there full. And then I have enough to, do, to really do some forging. And that's what she looks like in there. That orange. That's an old purple rag, but I don't have any wood in there. Three hours. I'm pretty sure we didn't make charcoal yesterday. I closed it up last night. So we're going to check it here. 
get this off. Now all you gotta do to check it is pick up on it. It did make. I have some older, uh, some some seasoned wood this time. That white oak I was using yesterday wasn't the best. It was a little wet, I guess. We have ignition. Pyrolysis is underway. When it starts that, the rocket stove kind of shuts down. It doesn't do much anymore. So we'll see how well this orange foam insulation, how well it works with this type of heat. And this barrel's 800 degrees. You can see now that it's melting. It's not burning though. There's some still intact. The normal foam insulation, it's all gone. I'm gonna do something different. I've got my welding gloves on and my safety glasses. I'm gonna pull the top off of this and take a look. The gas is exiting the bottom of that inner barrel. So it's basically a, like a burner on your stove all the way around. It is flat hot right here. Typically it's 800 degrees or so, maybe a thousand. Hear the gas coming out. This thermometer goes to a thousand. That's mucho caliente. It's been 30 minutes. The flame now is pretty lazy. It's calmed way down. I'm going to button it up. This flame is getting really small down the bottom. So we're gonna see what kind of charcoal we made. This is the generation two retort with the jacket, insulated jacket. It's always a pain getting this off. All you gotta do is just pick up on it. If it's light, it was successful. Oh yeah. This was green elm. I don't think this lid's gonna last much longer. It seems like there's less in it. 
I wonder if it has something to do with the green that's So uh, let me get the moisture meter and we'll measure what the moisture content was. All right, this is the elm that we cut down. Let's see what our content was. Thirty percent, thirty-one. That's pretty wet. So with this con uh, charcoal and that charcoal, I got three vats of it now. We can start the secret project for the wedding: forging some utensils. Well, the insulated retort. That seemed to work well. It saved us a little time on making charcoal, two hours to be exact. And the orange flame retarded foam seemed to work well. It did not catch on fire. It's still intact. So anyway, thanks for watching our videos. And have a blessed day. And adios, amigo.